Hello, planner friends. It's the Foxy Misfit Plants, and I am back with another plan with me. This time, I am planning the week of 4th of July, and this is a very untraditional patriotic week. Um, that's what I'll call it, because I forgot to order a 4th of July kit. I do not have any sticker paper, and so that meant printables were out too. So I'm using the next best kit I could find in my collection, which was actually a pretty good kit to use for this week. I just have all of my plans like listed here. I got this idea from Mrs. Mom Next Door. I love how this works because it really works for me in the summer when I'm not as busy now. If that sheet will work in the fall will be the telltale of all. Um, and I did not mean to rhyme, but I'm so excited for the Once Upon a Time uh, release of the kit in Shop Jessica Hart's shop. Like, I'm so, so, so excited. But yeah, I got this actually from Hello Petite Paper. It was a pre-order. I don't think it's available right now, but um, that's not to say it won't be available at a later date. So the first thing I'm going to show you all is the kit. Now, I am debating on making this a voiceover, but I figured I'd at least show the kit I'm using, which is the March Mystery Ult Ultimate Kit by Scribble Prince Co. And I'm just going to start from the front and keep going. So we have, this was a freebie that um, comes when you're subscribed as a as part of the subscription. I just can't come up with words and I think it's because it's 30 minutes after I go to bed, which I've been going to bed at 8.30 at night because I have to get up at and be at work by seven. So um, I've been trying to get up a little earlier so I can eat breakfast and all that stuff. But yeah, so my loopiness aside, um, here are these cute little cameras that I think are perfect for marking Instagram or filming. So we have those here. And then um, next we have the kit exclusive freebie with the movie marquee, decorative label, another decorative label to plan next week, munchkins, and some icons, as well as the new releases flag. And then we have this really awesome glitter, which is different from the glitter she's done before, which is, I mean, I feel like it looks like fireworks, so I think it's okay to use this kit for 4th of July, even though this is very untraditional. Um, some might even say unpatriotic, but I, I goofed. I really goofed. But here we have the uh, deco and functional sheet with the obvious deco here, the large icons, date dots, which this is a previous format. She no longer includes this in her kits, and the time dots. And then we have this page with our ombre weeklies, mini icons, two mini three heart checklists, the weekend banner, four flags, two appointment labels that are plain, and the heart checklist flags, followed by the next functional sheet where you get the two habit trackers, two skinny appointment labels, two bill dues, two more appointment labels, and then four quarter boxes and eight half boxes. And then um, we get the decorative washi and headers with the with more labels, plain washi, and the littles, and then the ombre art checklist boxes, and then the amazing, amazing full boxes. But even better, we have the date washi here, as well as the bottom washi and the extra full box, and then it gets better. We have these lovely girls to choose from. So, um, well, I have these lovely girls to choose from, and I'm so excited to use them in the spread. I All right, planner friends. So, um, <laughs> yeah, a voiceover just had to happen because I was all over the place. I was so organized on that little pink piece of paper and my desk is just covered and it, I was just all over the place. I was losing different things and I was just, I said, forget it. <laughs> This needs to be a voiceover, so here it is. And um, what I'm doing now is just putting down my bottom washi, whiting out the dates, and putting on my date washi. And um, I do really feel kind of ridiculous for not buying a 4th of July kit. I don't know what I was thinking, but it just, I think this turned out really good, actually. Once I got myself together, I think it's one of the most beautiful spreads I've done um, this summer. And so, yeah, I think it might be due to the fact that I've been um, working pretty much every morning. I've been covering a few shifts and working some extra shifts the last week. So this week, I'm actually super excited to finally have my first day off in almost two weeks. Well, not first day off, but my first morning off in two weeks, which is why I put the tall box on Thursday because I plan to do a whole lot of nothing. I, I'm i not even going to use a to-do box. So I thought she would be perfect right there, chilling and relaxing because that's exactly how I want to spend that day. And then I go in with these awesome glitter headers. I actually really love using these. 
I used like all but three by the time the spread was done. And then this week I did something a little different. I took out the meals, be little things, because I don't really like tracking that in this planner. I just like tracking my TV shows and then I wanted to make sure I checked for packages all next week because I knew things might be thrown off with the holiday and I just wanted to double check and make sure where everything was. I don't <laughs> I don't think the USPS will lose anything, but you never know with them. Knock on wood. So here I'm just trying to figure out which full box I want to put my sidebar because I figured if I do my sidebar, I could do the rest of the week. And so I put in a glitter header and then I put in my first tracker, which is for exercise. I love doing that. And then I put in some washi, a second habit tracker, and then I use a little laptop computer from Little Paper Prints to mark doing Duolingo for my Italian. And then I started to put in the weekly ombre, but then I remembered I wanted to track one more thing. So I pulled from the glitter, not glitter, color club, and I put the third one in for tracking my dental hygiene. And then I put in a spending tracker because I'm actually going on a no spend starting um, after July 7th. So I really just wanted to get used to tracking my spending and then I put in a to clean and then I started to just do the first half of the week so we're just going to do Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and I was trying to decide between the heart checklist flags and the boxes and I was like you know what it's going to be no white space so I'm just going to do the boxes then you see I'm just trying to make sure I have everything I need to make this go as quickly quickly as possible and it just totally didn't. <laughs> it, there's just a lot going on and a lot of stuff covering my desk and it was probably a sign that I needed to clean. So for my work schedule I'm using these pen cups that were a $2 Tuesday and I wanted to mark going to the library right after work so I used my coffee break girls from the Fo Fox and Pip and I layered it with a label from the kit so I'm just like gathering up all the labels that I can find in the kit because I'm pretty much going to the library every day that they're open if I can on this week. So starting with Monday I used the light blue one, yellow on Tuesday, and green on Wednesday. And then I put the little coffee cup girl I also tried to sneak in Thursday, but then I remembered I just wanted to focus on those three days. And then once I had that label, I wanted to mark, um, I put in my full box with some glitter and then I wanted to mark laundry as well as meal planning. So I used a little icon sticker. Um, oh, that's for editing this uh, video for Tuesday. And then I put in and Olivia Scribbler for laundry and then for meal planning I used a little pink icon and then moving on to Tuesday I put in my full box for the 4th of July and then I put um, these YouTube icons I put one of those down for my video that's going up on Tuesday and then I put in a little spray bottle to mark some cleaning stuff I wanted to do um, and then I moved on to Wednesday and I put, put in that icon to write that I need to work on, uh, my blog. And then I put in a half box above the full box with a vacuum for some more cleaning I wanted to do. And then Thursday I have a bill due, so I went ahead and put that in. And now I'm putting in the rest of my check boxes up top. And now I'm putting in the rest of my schedule for work and for going to the library. And then I realized I ran out of yellow. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And then I went ahead and planned out Thursday. The label above is for editing video for Friday and then 
going to the library and then on Friday I started out with the full box underneath my library visit and then I put in a half box because I wanted to I was trying to mark a couple of things so one thing I wanted to mark was the paper princess number three pin from pin gems is releasing and then I lost a sticker sheet and so now I'm back just to finish up and like I said I was marking that pin gems release that I did not want to miss so I put that in my to do's for the morning and then for the half box I was marking my video and so I put that YouTube icon there um so yeah and then I'm moving on to the weekend so starting with my full boxes I love this umbrella full box and then I put in a half box because I wanted to mark going to the library this way because I'd spend a lot of time there on that Saturday and then I wanted to remember to give myself some me time on Friday and I put in that spa looking sticker but I switch it out later and then I put in this other full box for Sunday and then excuse me um oh yeah I put in a bill due on Saturday and then I put in a phone on Sunday to mark calling my family and another dollar sign for some more bills due on Sunday and then I put in my plan next week sticker at the bottom of Sunday and then I went back to Thursday and I put in a sleep in sticker by my newest addiction and then I put in a half box for church and then I used the movie marquee for Saturday and I put in the SPC new releases sticker and the munchkin and then the munchkin on the top of Saturday is for writing my blog post and then I just use some deco for marking church on Sunday and then I put a salad in place of the meal plan and then I went back and put in a label to mark brunch on Sunday but yeah the salad bowl is from Jam Sticker Shop and that is the spread. Mm -hmm.